Ehlers slump test is used to test anything along the line of the femoral nerve. So in other words, what we're looking at is potential pain in the groin, down the quads, in the adductor area and into the medial knee and into the knee region. So that's what the patients come in with and we want to know whether it's a femoral nerve problem. So what we ask them to do is we ask them to go on the side of the pain. So this is the bad side on the side down towards the couch and they go into the fetal position. Like so not too much, just about there. They then put their top hand onto their top leg the bottom hand onto the head. And what they're going to do is they're going to, first of all, pull this leg up as far as they can up to their chest. They're then going to pull their head down as far as they can towards their, so their chins towards their chest. And you're going to take hold of this lower leg, which is the, the bad leg, hold onto the couch, and we're just going to get under that leg, which can actually be quite difficult with a, a heavy person. Hold onto the couch here, and we're just going to extend that bad leg backwards. If that elicits pain, then what we ask them to do to see whether it's muscle or whether it's nerve, because it could just be that the squads are getting stretched here, is we ask them to let the head go back up. And if that takes the pain off, then it's nerve. So to slide that nerve, what we're going to do is let's go back to the fully stretched position. So the legs extended, the head's in, so we now need to just make that wee bit shorter. So let's have the, the head go up first. Right, now as Maggie brings her head down, I'm just going to take a little bit of that extension off. And there's our sliding. So as she brings her head up, I'm going to extend. And as she brings her head down, I'm going to let the leg flex back a bit. And that's it. Perfect.